In this video, we will be focusing on how to replicate a cost object manually. <clears throat> Normally, the replication happens via SLT, but sometimes you face such a situation where your cost object is not replicated or you want to have an individual cost object outside the filters of SLT. So it's a manual handling tool, uh, very quick and very fast. So I'll show you how that works directly in SAP and uh, what are the possibilities and how it end-to-end -end works. So to as an as a user uh, to x x uh, to reach the tool or the reach the transaction code, you have to go to accounting, uh, central finance, and we have manual transfer tools, and you have individual cost object. When we say cost object, it only replicates your internal order, maintenance order, production order, depending on what is in the scope of your replication. We don't talk about here. Uh, projects or WBS or cost centers. Yeah, so I double click this. I will see the transaction code at the bottom. Uh, my transaction code is uh, CFIN underscore CO underscore OBG underscore REPL. Uh, that's my transaction code. Uh, if I really need it, then this is the screen which gets opened. Uh, and the limitation here is I can tell you in advance before I execute, you can only replicate triple nine objects at the same time. If you have 10,000 objects, don't expect that you just put everything in list and system will do the magics. Only nine, 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 which means if you have 10,000, you have to do it at least 11 times approximately. So not fit for a mass data, but fit for 100, 200, 500, 400 or 10, 20 objects, depending on needs. So we first have to give here the source system ID from which source system we want to pull. And then we have to give the specific <coughs> number, number of the cost object which I want to pull. In this case, I will go to my ECC system. I will say, okay, I want to pull this object. Let's say uh, 7009. Yeah, let me copy it. And I will go here. I will go to central finance system, not this screen, this screen. And I will put it here. If it is a valid object and it passes the mapping rules and everything, uh, it will show me the next screen. So I click here execute. Now it says it gives you status also. So you cannot make a mistake because if it is order has been replicated, system shows here replicated. It gives me all the necessary field one, two, three, uh, who created company code, business area, controlling area, doesn't matter. You now what you need to do is you select this. If it is a big number let's say 900 then you select everything and you have to click here replicate the moment you click here system will take you to AIF so see now it is taking it goes directly to AIF you see now the AIF screen will open I don't know it will it will pass or it will fail it depends again you know all my configurations and mappings it failed which is okay uh, scenario could not be determined yeah because it says your configuration is not complete a complete configuration is missing in terms of mapping or in terms of uh, you know master data which we really don't want to talk in this small video the idea was yes uh, so now if it is of course we have to fix all the errors in AIF as normal and then it will automatically get uh, created in central finance mapping will be maintained so the idea was of this video was to not to show you how to fix AIF error but rather how to replicate an individual cost object uh, if you have a requirement to replicate uh, some cost object manually. So the process works, you pull it from here, it goes to AIF, fix all the necessary errors as it comes. It may come and it will come. So you fix all the errors and it will go to CFIN. That was a short demonstration on manual handling of cost objects and rest everything has to be as a prerequisite like your cost object mapping or your your order type creation order type mapping rfc connections everything has to go as is and if you go back from here it will again show not replicated because it is not yet successful once it's successful then it will show you status here replicated let me pick another one if something is replicated i don't know uh, let me try this one just a quick quick check master data you never know master data is always a pain in, in cfin we replicate this yeah this is will also go to aif it goes to aif of course and 
it may fail and it has failed as expected so yeah configurations are missing here but end-to-end -end process i hope you understand that so in your project if you need this scenario to pull it remember the transaction code we have here uh, cfin underscore co underscore obj underscore repl that's your transaction code thank you